Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. So today I have brought a very nice challenge from KVPY for all of you. KVPY 2018 SX uh, entropy question was there and uh, this question number 96. Now the topic of entropy is not uh, handled in JE Physics. So many students they are very often confused about this particular question. Sometimes even if they are able to figure out the answer uh, by some means. They still remain confused, uh, they have a strange feeling about this question. So that's why I have chosen this question. So uh, uh, today, in fact, entropy is a very deep subject and uh, it's uh, fairly complicated, but still I'll try to simplify it and try to give you a feel of entropy. So stay tuned till the end of the video and I'm sure you'll get a decent feeling about entropy and you'll really understand why the heat has to flow from higher temperature to lower temperature or does it really have to flow that way so we'll get a lot of insights into entropy and temperature flow uh, heat flow uh, directions okay so let me read out the question formally graphs below show the entropy versus energy of two systems one and two at constant volume the initial energies of the systems are indicated by u1i and u2i respectively graphs are drawn to the same scale so see this is one systems graph and this is the other systems graph and the scale of the graph is same and you can clearly see that this u1i is exactly equal to u2i if you consider the graphs to the scale okay the systems are then brought into thermal contact with each other assume that all at all times the combined energy of the two systems remains constant so that is there's no energy lost to the surrounding these two systems they are just brought in thermal contact Choose the most appropriate option indicating the energies of the two systems and the total entropy after they achieve the equilibrium. So we have to uh, uh, do this qualitatively only. So we have to decide which of the following four options is correct. So first option is U1 increases, U2 decreases and the total entropy remains the same. This is first option. Second is U1 decreases and U2 increases. That is this internal energy increases, decreases and this one increases and the total entropy remains the same and the C option is U1 increases and U2 decreases and the total entropy increases and the last option is U1 decreases and U2 increases and the total entropy increases. So these are the four options and uh, uh, if you want you can make a, make a guess and then you can verify whether your guess was right or not. So uh, I'll get into the analysis right away. In fact, uh, one thing students are able to get uh, correct immediately is that entropy of the system must be increasing. It cannot decrease. And uh, if any heat transfer is happening, uh, so it should happen to increase the entropy. So uh, they are uh, uh, sure that it can't be in the options A and B. And it must be somewhere in between options C and D because the total entropy, they have a feeling that it should increase but how exactly to do this one and uh, many times students will get the wrong one they'll choose the wrong one now how to do this one let's see so the answers lies between uh, lies in the uh, this equation that's written on boltzmann tombstone that is s is equal to k log w now don't worry i'll explain to you what these symbols mean s is of course entropy k is boltzmann's con boltzmann's constant and W is what is known as fugacity or uh, you can say the number of possible microstates of a system. Now I'm throwing in a lot of heavy words. Don't worry. I'll simplify it uh, for you. Stay uh, tuned with concentration and you'll understand everything. Don't worry. Uh, so the way this equation is written in most of the thermodynamics textbook is uh, S is equal to K log omega. Uh, natural log of omega because here this log means actually natural log and w is often represented by uh, greek letter omega in thermodynamics textbooks and how do we define capital omega capital omega is number of possible microstates corresponding to a given macro state now i have thrown another uh, word another jargon what is this all micro state and macro state you might be wondering so suspense is going to be cleared uh, immediately so what is a macro state macro state is a constraint on a system for example suppose i have a system is defined to come composed of five distinct boxes and five distinct balls so this is the constraint on the system that total number of boxes is five and total number of balls is five 
so this corresponds to the macro state of the this system entropy can we can in, in, we cannot we can talk about entropy for just about any system which can take several configuration not just for thermodynamic systems anywhere there are permutations and combinations involved we can talk about entropy so suppose a system is five distinct boxes and five distinct balls so this is the macroscopic state okay what will be a microscopic state so i can for example one microscopic state could be i put all the five balls in the first box so that could be one microscopic state right micro state so i hope you understood what's a macro state and what is a micro state macro state is overall constraint on the system and micro state is any of the arrangements which are uh, which satisfy the macroscopic constraint and which is a possibility okay so uh, instead of uh, balls and uh, boxes we could uh, think of distributing five quanta of energy to be distributed in five oscillators so what do i mean by oscillator for example a monoatomic uh, uh, gas particle has got three degrees of freedom so you can think of it as three oscillators so it can produce it can have uh, um, energy due to x direction y direction and z direction of velocity so it is equivalent to three oscillators so i can distribute 5 joule of energy in one particle or uh, i mean we can have uh, number of particles uh, which are like boxes or each particle is like three boxes you can say and the number of uh, joules of energy or quant of energy that you need to need you need to distribute could be like uh, balls that you need to put in the box okay so think of five quant of energy to be distributed in five oscillators so what will be the number of ways of doing it so for each uh, each ball you have five cho uh, box choices right so for first ball you have five choices second also so total number of ways of distributing the balls would be 5 to the power 5 so what will be the entropy of this system so according to boltzmann's equation this entropy will be s is equal to k log omega that is uh, 5k log of 5 okay so uh, now you might you might also be wondering that how this entropy is equivalent to the thermodynamic entropy that we define dq by t integral so uh, that part i'm not going to cover in this video but i'll try to illustrate a nice uh, example from university physics where uh, this is uh, demonstrated that the two kinds of uh, entropies are equivalent but here i'll just focus on the statistical definition of entropy so i hope you understood the macro state and micro state now in case of gases macro state is defined in terms of total energy of the system that this is the total internal energy and this is the total number of particles and this is the total amount of volume so micro state could be uh, a particular assignment of velocities to different particles x coordinate y coordinate or z coordinate so velocity coordinates and position coordinates to various particles so i can uh, have position permutations and the velocity permutations of different particles so that will be any particular permutation of uh, energy uh, uh, of velocities and uh, positions that satisfies this overall constraint that the total volume has to be according to the macroscopic constraint total energy total number of particles and available volume should be satisfied and we can have so many arrangements of particles subject to these constraints okay so i hope you understood what we mean by this now what happens when there are uh, gas particles they'll keep exchanging energy so that means what uh, if one particle will collide with another and it will exchange energy with the other particle that means what the system will keep changing from one microstate to another microstate and there is no particular preference of one, any microstate over any other microstate so every microstate is equally likely okay so because uh, they are just random uh, randomly changing energies right so uh, for example balls are jumping from one box to another and uh, they are randomly jumping from here and there so any state uh, any particular permutation is equal equally likely okay so then uh, why does energy flow from higher temperature to lower temperature so let's try to understand it with an example let us say i have nine quanta of energy which i have de uh, uh, designated by these uh, pink dots so these are nine quanta of energy and let us say i have 18 oscillators so one of the ways of arranging this could be like th there these are nine oscillators and these are nine oscillators so total total we have 18 oscillators so what i could do possibly is give all the nine quant of energy to this set of oscillators so this could be one block in which energy is concentrated and this is other block which is at zero kelvin for example and this has got very concentrated energy let us say so now uh, how many ways uh, we can arrange these nine balls in this fashion where all the nine balls are in uh, the these first nine oscillators and uh, the other nine oscillators are completely empty so there is only one possibility of doing that right only this configuration exists so 
this micro state there this type of micro state is only one okay there is only one micro state which satisfies this that all the nine are in this and these nine are completely empty there's only one type of that micro state but now suppose i imagine another category of micro states where i put eight joules of energy here and one joule of energy here so how many states uh, will be there so you know that here if i have to put eight joules here i can leave any one of the boxes uh, empty so there are uh, there are uh, if uh, there are nine possibilities so any one of the nine boxes you can uh, uh, keep empty and here also you can put this one in any of the uh, nine boxes so there are 81 possibilities here similarly if you proceed uh, instead of uh, distributing in the eight and one you could also talk about distributing them as uh, two uh, seven uh, joules here and two joules here and if you have some intuition about permutation combination you will see that the the category of micro states in which there are seven in the, this and two is this th that category of micro states uh, i am using the word very carefully because that's not a single ma micro state there'll be so many micro states that that will correspond to having seven joules here and two joules here and that number will be much much more than 81 see so you see this this type of micro state is only one this type of micro states are 81 and if you put two here and uh, two here and uh, seven here that number will be still exponentially larger than 81 even okay and similarly if you proceed you could put uh, the three here and say uh, i mean six here and three here and that number will be still larger and if you want to put four here and five over here if you have some intuition about permutation combination you'll see that maximum number of permutations will exist for the combination of four joules here and five joules here or five joules here and four joules here okay so this category of micro states has the largest uh, number of possibilities right this category of micro states i'm talking in that category every micro state is a single micro state only. but such type of micro states are exponentially larger in number than the kind of micro state where all the energy is concentrated in just uh, one of the blocks okay so that's why if the energy is being exchanged randomly and each single micro state is equally probable then you will find the system in a micro state where uh, the kind of those kinds of micro states are very large in number so what are those micro states where this has got four this has got five or this has got five and this has got four so that is the most probable micro state in which you will find the system now i showed you with small number of balls but if you imagine uh, doing this with mole factorials then uh, i mean here still you might uh, maybe in a hundred years you might find all the nine balls in just one box but when you're talking about uh, one mole uh, uh, oscillators and maybe one mole quanta of energy then uh, it, the possibility of getting entire one mole, mole of uh, quanta in just one box that will be very very uh, less maybe one in 10 to the power maybe google or whatever so that's why you see that energy is distributed so energy will flow from higher temperature to lower temperature so as to maximize uh, the uh, number of micro states okay it will correct the most probably distribution will be found uh, in that micro state whose type of whose type of micro state has got maximum number of micro state in that kind of state you will find the system okay so that's what i've written if we divide the energy into 4 plus 5 or 5 plus 4 the number of possible micro states will be much much larger since each micro state is equally likely we will most probably find uh, the system in a type of microstate where energy is distributed almost equally so now don't think that uh, balls can move only from here to here once the some energy goes from here to here that energy still can go back from here to here but this process is happening randomly and since each microstate is uh, equal equally probable so you find the system in a microstate which has got the maximum i mean in that type of microstate which has got maximum number of ways of uh, achieving okay okay uh, so uh, we'll find we will most probably find the system in type of microstate where energy is distributed almost equally uh, here it is uh, 9 and 9 therefore i am talking about equally otherwise if you if you have let us say uh, 20 oscillators here and 10 oscillators here then uh, maximum permutation will co uh, correspond to the case where energy is distributed in the proportion in the proportion to number of oscillators okay so that type of micro micro microstates will be having maximum uh, uh, ways of achieving achievement okay now coming to the current problem okay 
see uh, these are the graphs given so this has got some internal energy and this has got the same amount of internal energy that means what suppose this has got 100 uh, joule energy this also has got 100 joule this has 1000 or maybe if this has got 1000 quanta of energy this also has 1000 quanta of energy but then you see entropy here is less that means what here the same 1000 quanta of energy is being distributed in less number of oscillators here the same 1000 quanta of energy is being distributed into more number of oscillators okay so let me read out since for same internal energy system 2 has lower entropy it means that for same quanta of energy it has lesser number of oscillators available okay for example in system 1 we have 100 diatomic gas molecules and system 2 suppose we have 100 monoatomic gas molecules and total quanta of energy in both is 1000 let us say then in the system 1000 quanta are distributed in 500 oscillators if the diatomic gas each atom has got 5 degrees of freedom so the same 1000 quanta is distributed in 500 oscillators whereas here if we have a monoatomic gas the same 1000 quanta is di distributed in 300 oscillators because each atom is equivalent to 3 oscillators okay now since the energy per degree of freedom is same by equipartition system 2 must be at higher temperature right see it has got only 3 oscillators and still total energy is same that means what uh, per oscillator energy is higher and per oscillator energy is half kt per oscillator on an average and since number of oscillator is same and total energy is uh, same uh, sorry number of oscillators is less and total energy is same therefore energy per oscillator must be higher for the system 2 that means here the temperature is higher okay so system 2 has higher temperature system 1 has lower temperature okay so this has got higher temperature this has got lower temperature so energy must flow from uh, second system to the first system okay because this will lead to more possible microstates and if the number of microstates is increasing obviously entropy will increase so the correct option to this problem is c u1 decreases uh, sorry u1 increases u2 decreases and total entropy increases that's the correct answer to this problem so that was my analysis for the kvpy 2018 sx uh, problem on entropy the and uh, i hope i was able to give you a decent <laughs> insight into how this uh, energy transfer works, how this second law or maybe the direction of energy flow works out. Uh, in fact, uh, I felt very happy once I tried to understand uh, these things, although they were not in JE physics, I tried to listen to some of the lectures and uh, this gave me a lot of happiness. And uh, I hope you uh, did uh, get the same kind of happiness uh, and insight into the concept of entropy and if you did uh, get some insight or you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and uh, please do recommend this video to your friends through whatsapp or uh, telegram or discord or whatever media you use for uh, networking with fellow students and uh, most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for that's what keeps me motivated to post uh, new videos. These days I'm running a very hectic schedule. I do not know how long I'll be able to continue. My schedule has become hectic again. Uh, so, um, but I'll try to post uh, videos as often as uh, possible. Okay, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do keep coming back to my channel. I'll try to bring out uh, new videos on uh, awesome uh, concepts. Uh, and uh, thanks a lot for watching my video. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless you.